Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a couple different bleaching techniques. So if you'd like to see, keep watching. Okay, so the first one that we're gonna do is the scrunch method. So with this one, typically you, like you'll see me have um, one of those cardboard inserts between the shirts, but when we're doing this, we're gonna do like a three part process for this. So with this first part, we don't need to put anything between the shirt. So I just take the shirt, lay it flat, and then I always kind of start from the middle and I just start scrunching it up like this. And I scrunch it up pretty much as small as I can. Just like so. And then we're going to spray this whole top part. And then once it turns white and it's ready for the other side, we'll flip it over and do the same exact thing. So we're just gonna mist it. I wouldn't say that you have to saturate it, but that's pretty good. Okay, and then the next style that we're going to do is the accordion style. So again, I'm going to lay it flat. And then I just kind of start making these lines with it. Grabbing a little section and just kind of think like how far apart you want your little lines to be. Cause it's going to be, um, there's gonna be lines straight across. So just think about how far apart you want those to be. So like that. And then sometimes I kind of mess with the sleeves to line up with the lines that I've made. So just like that. And then we are going to spray it. All right. And then we're going to let it sit and turn white. And then I'll also just show you how I do my normal shirts, which is just the white square. So I use these shirt forms. These are from Hobby Lobby. They last me a good amount of time. As you can see, they kind of get some like white spots on them. And then sometimes I'll accidentally leave them out in the rain, so then I'll need to get new ones, but they do last me quite a while. And these are the only three styles that I do. And then with these, like depending on the design, like sometimes I'll do kind of like a circular thing if it's more of like a round design or if it's just more square, I do the square. Typically, I just try to stick with the square. I don't use a stencil or anything. I just freehand. So I do the outline and then I just fill in the center. Okay. And then after I fill in the center, I'll just go like this and sprinkle some bleach around the sides. And so today is kind of a windy day. So this is something that happens pretty frequently. I don't know, for some reason, our front yard, it just seems to always be windy out here. But as you see, it literally just did that. So what will happen if you're not paying attention is like this whole piece can like go up on that. And then you're going to have like a big mark on here down here and you're not going to want that or the sleeves will sometimes go like this and then you'll have a big spot right there and I just don't think it looks cute so what you can do is after you spray it you could fold these in sometimes we will put like workout weights on top of it you could use rocks whatever but I'll just fold all the stuff over to make sure that that wind isn't going to mess up the shirt um today is kind of overcast like sometimes the sun comes out and sometimes it goes in so but as you can tell this one is already turning this is, I'll tell you the colors of the shirts too, really quick. That's Dark Heather. It's the uh, Gildan Soft Style G640. Gildan Soft Style G640. And then that is the Heather Heliconia. And then this one is the Heather Berry. The Dark Heather is the one that typically people have issues with because it does take longer to bleach. And as you can tell, it 
does turn that orange color first before it turns white. Give it time and it will turn white. So I'll be back with you guys after these turn white when we flip them over and do the other side. All right, so as you guys can see, these have all turned nice bright white. So the first one we're gonna flip over is this one. So as you can see, like the little like splatter that I do all around the shirt, I'm just gonna flip over and do the same thing on the back. I just think that it makes the shirt look complete. And I just like the way that it looks. Okay, that's all I do for that one. So let me unravel or pull this one apart so you can see what it looks like and kind of the method that we're going for. So this is what it's gonna look like on the front. So after we do the same thing on the back, we're gonna flip it back over, put an insert in there, and then we're going to bleach the white section so that we can put the image on the shirt. So we're just gonna flip it over and just do the same thing to the back side. And then we spray. And that's it for that part. And then I'll show you what this one looks like. So it has these stripes on it. And then after we do this to the back side, we'll flip it over, put the insert in, and then do the white part for the design. And the one, so in this one, and the scrunch one over here, people will pay more for those just because it is a bit, uh, it is longer of a process to do it. You don't have to charge more, but I always do just because if I'm doing a bunch of these, they do take a lot longer because it is a three step process, especially waiting for the bleach to turn white at each step. All right, so we're gonna wait for this to turn white and then we'll do the other side. Okay, so now these are finished on the back sides and we are going to insert the cardboard so that we can do the front. Right, and we're gonna let those turn white. All right guys, so they are done. This is how they're gonna look when they're finished. We're going to wash and dry them and then they will be ready to press and put your design on and ready to go. I hope you found this video helpful. I also have a free 30 day plan down below in the description if you're looking to help grow and start a sublimation business. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.